Okay, <clears throat> we are live. How is everybody doing? Sunday, November 22nd, 10.02 a.m. Pacific Time here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We got 45 of you watching, so I uh, hope, hope everybody's had a good week. Uh, upcoming week will be great as well. Yes, the leather jacket is back. <laughs> I wish I got paid by the pound. <laughs> With all those tech boxes piled up in front of you, you look like you get tech by the pound. Yeah, I got a lot of boxes that have accumulated over the last month or so. So I figured what better way to um, get them unboxed is by doing a massive unboxing. I got three camera well actually i got four cameras working today one is what you see here two right there <laughs> three is the overhead cameras will be the first box we'll look at and then fourth is a little bit more close up of that so that's where we are people yeah me too uh andrea can't believe you have so low amount of subs uh, well you know what i got 104 we're gonna hit 105 this week so we are growing at a steady pace a little bit slow but uh we're 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 growing so that's the key and also i did drop a video this morning um in case you didn't miss in case you didn't see it it was the hp elite book 845 running the amd ryzen 7 pro very impressive laptop uh really really good stuff as far as that is concerned um yeah so if you didn't check it out go ahead it's not doing so great on the channel i you know i'm not really sure what the deal is i looked at the algorithm uh it said to post at around 6 a.m so i did that pacific time but it didn't get much traction so far but you never know uh it could be uh get a second win but maybe not so i don't know if you guys are interested in that and i know a lot of people in the comment section would ask me well how come you don't have any premium uh, ryzen laptops why are they always relegated to the second tier or the mid tier and well i did <laughs> A premium laptop with the Ryzen with a beautiful display, uh, really good performance, uh, great uh, efficiency out of that, good thermals. I mean, really, what more could you ask for? And of course, if you want these premium things, you're going to have to pay for them. They're not going to put it in a sub thousand dollar laptop. That's the mid tier. Uh, that we've been seeing. So you're going to have to pay for it. And to me, if you want that AMD Ryzen uh, with that 4750U Pro, that is the one to look at so far. That's been pretty impressive. Uh, Nadine is here. How are you? I saw Tech Realm earlier. Uh, William is here. We just saw him. Steve, we just saw him. And then, of course, Handquake here, moderator. Good day, Tech Realm. All right. So we have 69 of you watching. I have a bunch of boxes from different manufacturers. Um, so uh, we can just get started. I don't even know what half this thing, half the, half these things are. This one is from Net. Let me see who this is from. One Netbook. Let me move my coffee out of the way. We don't we don't want to have a massive spilling during the unboxing. And you know what? Let me put myself on uh, here. So let's uh, get my knife out here. And let's just see what this stuff is. I, I don't even know. This is like some kind of mini laptop. Uh, I think it's geared towards. Hold on. It's geared towards um, engineers, I think. So, and this is like a whoever packaged this did a really good job. I gotta say, I may, may have met. I may have met my fine my box that I finally can unbox here. Look at this. Whoever put this tape on did a fantastic job. All right. There we go. All right, let's get this thing out of the box. I'll check the stream in a moment, you know, the chat. So a lot of stuff in here. All right, so, and I think it comes with a pen. So I think this is the pen. Let's uh, move this down here. Okay, so one netbook, whatever this is like one of those old EM umpcs i believe i don't know what okay so here it is nice box we'll get to the pen in a moment uh negx i don't know anything about this so we'll see 
So little strap on it. So it's like a mini, it's a mini laptop. Whoever packaged this did, did a fantastic job. I got to say that. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Let's see. It's a mini PC, yeah. It's a pre-production unit from what I understand, so I, I don't want to mess this up. I may have to give it to somebody else. So let's, uh, let's put all this to the side in that box. Decent packaging. All right, so this is the mini PC. And let me see if I can get a different angle here. Uh, here you can see that. Well, it's a little out of focus. Trying to get that camera in focus. We'll, we'll get that fixed in a moment. All right, there it is. So, mini PC. So, it reminds me of those UMPCs from the 2000s, and it's a mini laptop. Uh, I think, from I remember from an email I got from them, it folds like this. It's like a tablet, like that. Pretty interesting. Let's see some of the ports. So it looks like it has uh, an H mini HDMI port, two USB-A ports, a uh, LAN port. That's good. It also has a serial port, a 22 uh, RS-232, which I believe is for engineers. They use that from what I understand. This would be a great PC to take with you on the go. Uh, that is pretty small, I got to say. Pretty nice. All right, let's see what else they gave me. So this is the pen, and I think this is going to have 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, and it says one mix on it. One mix. Okay. And it comes with a little felt carrying case. So I think engineers might like this kind of device, from what I would understand. It's a BlackBerry on steroids. Yeah, BlackBerry on steroids for sure. Let's uh, put me on there. Okay, uh, let's take a, let me move, zoom in a little bit. Let me see here. So if you could take a look at it, this has uh, a QWERTY keyboard, but it's kind of weird. I, it's very condensed. You probably can't touch type on this. It would be very difficult, I would imagine. Um, and it also, again, goes into tablet mode. On the side, let me see if there's more ports on this thing. This thing has got a lot of ports. So it looks like a micro, uh, micro SD card reader. And then a... That's the looks like a charging port. Could be USB C, I guess. Yeah, looks like a charging port. Pretty interesting stuff. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I think it's six ninety nine, and I think it was on Kickstarter uh, from One Net, whatever they're called. I will be doing a in depth review of this uh, probably in a couple of days. Uh, this has a 1080p display. I think it's 1920 by 1200. This is a, a, I believe, if I remember correctly from the information they gave me, this is a pre-production unit. This is going to have, when you buy the retail unit, the M3 processor with his 8th gen Y processor, um, which is not too bad for this lap style of laptop, I guess. Uh, let me see if it has any juice. Maybe I can turn it on. But we have so many other things to unbox. I don't even know where the power button is. I guess power button's right there. Let's see if it even does anything. I don't want to set it up. Uh, we'll do a separate maybe stream on that if that's the case. I don't even know if it has any juice. But uh, it is definitely cute. That's for sure, Nadine. Definitely cute. I like it because you can take it with you on the go. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting stuff. I don't think there's any juice in it. So we're going to move on to the next thing. Maybe if we have some time later, we can look at it in, in more in depth. Who would use it? Uh, I think it's a very spe specific user. I guess it would be engineers. Uh, people in the vertical markets might want to use something like this. So uh, it's definitely something that 
would be very portable and people can do something real quick when they're standing up standing up doesn't take up a lot of room in your bag very interesting it's the hacker stuff right it's pretty futuristic type thing i guess uh, 649 from what i understand i mean i, I believe it's a kickstarter when the when the live stream is done i will um i will take a look at it let me see where the adapter is that's a good question did they forget or did i not get the adapter oh wait here there's more stuff here hold on so let's put this to the side here's some documentation and there's nothing in the documentation <laughs> All right, again, pre-production unit, people, and this must be the adapter. So, yeah, it's a USB-C cable. That's good. And then this is, uh, there's the adapter, flip-out prongs. Let me get this open. See, they have flip-out prongs like that. Uh, uh, I don't know. Take a look at the things. I can't see from my vantage point, but we'll, we'll get all the numbers in the full review, which is coming. So uh, pretty interesting stuff. USB-C charging. That's good. Uh, let me move this out of the way. So pretty pretty good start to this, right? I like it. I like the form factor. The only thing is I'd have to plug it in. Let me see. Let's plug it in. I want to see the display. I happen to have a USB-C cable here. And I think it was on the side here. Yep. So there's some, there it is plugged in. I'm using a 65 watt. Let's see from Dell. Let's see if this will boot it up. I'm assuming that's the power button. Maybe it just has to get some juice into it and charge it up. Got 111 of you watching. RS-232 myth, it is like saying a numpad is needed for office work. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, I, I don't have any use for that, but I guess engineers do from what I understand. So let me see if I can get this camera in focus. Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, let me see if we can get a little bit better look at it. Still not in focus. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, lights up in red. There we go. Lights up in red. Interesting. It's a nice future, <laughs> futuristic looking device. I got to say that. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting design. It's uh, pretty interesting, right? What's the scaling on the screen? I don't know. Uh, I think the resolution is 1920 by 1200, but I probably think it would be scaled up. Let me see if I can increase the brightness here. Uh, if I could figure out where that is. Okay, so this is the backlight of the keyboard, looks like over here. And brightness up. Okay, so if I hit function, and that's the brightness up. Okay, and we'll set it up. US. It's not that bright, so I'm not. I'm thinking that might have been. We're not going to set it up now. We're not going to set it up now because we have other stuff to do. But pretty cute, right? We'll we'll get to the brightness and all that. Uh, looks pretty interesting. Uh, I'll get to this uh, in a couple of days. So stay tuned for that. It's it's running Windows 10. It's running Windows 10. But we got to keep moving. I got a lot of stuff here. And maybe if we have some more time at the end, we'll take a, a bigger, a closer look at it. Hold on. So Omen sent me this uh, along, along with this. So this is a gaming mouse, the vector mouse. 
Now, I have a tower coming. It was supposed to be here on Friday. Uh, this is, well, I was going to use it with this. Uh, these are pretty nice uh, accessories for them. This is the Omen Spacer keyboard. It's a wireless uh, TKL keyboard. Uh, this is the Vector Mouse. Again, this is supposed to have low latency, one millisecond, uh, that they're touting as a wireless mouse. Um, War, it's called the one millisecond warp wireless technology. Uh, that's not something I guess we normally see on a wireless mouse. So I'm looking forward to testing that out. I have the uh, tower coming from Omen that was supposed to be here on Friday. Uh, it got messed up from uh, FedEx, but hopefully we'll get it uh, on Monday. So I'm looking forward to testing. That's going to be a beast, what they're sending me. So let's take a look at the keyboard right away. So you gamers, you gamers out there might like this. So this is going to be one of a mechanical style keyboard. Oh, that's nice. Hear that? That's nice. Wow. And it's a wireless keyboard. It looks like. Yep. Pretty pretty nice stuff. Wow. Uh, the mouse is the vector mouse let me check the chat make sure uh yes i am doing a black friday i'm gonna have a couple of streams i'm gonna be doing and i'm gonna also be doing a video on it uh i'm working on that uh the first one will be i'm teaming up with hp for their deals first and then i'm gonna do lenovo dell and all the others uh during black friday so stay tuned for that this is the mouse uh it looks pretty good here. Let me move that to the side. And this is the vector mouse. Pretty light. Uh, feels good. Nice, comfortable in the hand. If you're right-handed, I'm left-handed, but I use the mouse in the right hand. This is the adapter that it comes with. Um, and then, of course, charges. Let's make sure it charges via USB-C. It does. That's good. I don't want to see anything but USB-C, of course. Uh, pretty good stuff. So this is the vector mouse along with the spacer keyboard. Give me a second. I'll get to the next thing. Okay. So a lot of work. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jeff is saying, Apple, our new M chip motherboard only allows two ports. Mini laptop finds a way for tons of ports. Very good point. Another point that people are bringing up uh, that I think is worth noting and that I don't hear many people, actually, I don't hear many people talking about it, but I think they should. Uh, yeah, the M1 chip is great. Uh, the performance is fantastic. The efficiency is very good. But these laptops are not upgradable. That's a big difference from the Windows side. These laptops, you cannot upgrade the RAM. I know a lot of Windows you cannot, but there are some like the one we saw today, the HP EliteBook 845, where we were able to upgrade the RAM, we were able to upgrade the SSD and the Wi-Fi card. None of that is possible on an Apple laptop. That's something that we need to bring to the forefront. People are just not talking, but they're just talking about the performance. The other thing is I, that display is okay. It's a good display. It's a very good display. It's not a great display in my opinion. There are better displays out there, but of course, this is a MacBook Air, so I'm not expecting it to be on the level of some of the more premium laptops that we've seen from Windows, like the XPS line and so forth. The MacBook Pro 13 may have a slightly better display when it comes to the P3 wide color gamut and stuff like that, but uh, not that much better. So that's the other thing people aren't talking about is the difference between the Windows side. Yeah, performance is very important, but that's not everything we need to know about a laptop. We need to know about upgradability. Uh, how long are you going to have this laptop for? How long are you going to uh, be able to use it? Because Apple's game, of course, has always been uh, to have you buy it every other year or every year, buy a new laptop or buy a new phone. Um, whereas Windows users tend to use them longer term, especially if it's upgradable. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, now that I did that little break I got there, 143 watching. Hold on. And what he was talking about, again, just so you see here, look at the amount of ports that this has. I mean, it has more than a MacBook. So, I mean, that's pretty, pretty amazing. I, 
I like this little thing. We're going to take a look at it. Uh, um, maybe if we have some more time later. Nice little surprise there. All right. I don't even know what this is. This is from HP. Let's see here. This is... Oh, yeah. This is the ZBook Firefly. Now, I already showed the 14-inch. I still got to finish my video on that. Hold on. But this is the 15-inch and very premium stuff from the Firefly from the HP uh, ZBook line. And I really like what they're doing here with the packaging. Okay. I like what they're doing with the packaging. More biodegradable material. I like this egg carton type thing. Uh, let's get it to the front here. And there's the Z logo. There you can see it, the Z logo. Let's open it up. And this is the 15 inch. I was curious about this one. The 14 was pretty cool. Uh, I like the Z logo on this. I like what they do with that new logo. I know it's just aesthetics, but it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Wait, I'm going to have to clean this up after we're done. This is going to be a big mess. Uh, here it is. So this is the Z book 15. Let's open this. Let's take a look at the ports. Well, let's open up because I'm going to get that felt out of there. All right. So numpad on this one the 14 inch of course didn't have the numpad uh so everything shifts over to the left the same type of touchpad glass touchpad two um mouse buttons and of course as a track point this has got the core i7 with v pro 10th gen because of course there's no 11th gen 45 watt cpus but i think this is a I don't know if this is 45 watt. I, I don't remember which exact CPU is in here, but uh, it also has a Quadro graphics on this. I'm not really sure. Again, I need to look at this the first time I'm opening it up, but pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, it's got a grill here. I don't know if it's a vent or for speakers. Uh, folds out pretty nicely. And then, the, then you have your Kensington lock port. You get a USB-A port and then a 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the right side and again i'll do all this in the video uh another usb a port it looks like power port hdmi two thunderbolt three ports if i'm not mistaken so that is that and then on the bottom these are upgradable laptops i think this one unlike the 14 inch um this one actually is upgradable in terms of ram you cannot there are slots here that you can upgrade as well as ssd i'll open all this up in the review video Uh, Steve, you can't get excited for these after the M1. Again, the, the chip is nice, but I don't care for the dated design, okay, of the MacBook. I just would like to see them thin those bezels out a little bit. I like upgradability, as you know. You don't get that. But I understand. Look, the M1 is a fantastic chip, and give kudos to Apple. I think they did a fantastic job. My uh, impressions video certainly conveyed that, but this is pretty nice-looking in its own right now this is of course geared towards professionals that are doing things on the go now of course they have a more powerful zbook line uh and i don't want to get into that now but this is their uh, lighter line the firefly line this year and i think these are looking pretty nice with this dark gray and that new logo looks pretty cool i don't know what you guys think i already have the 14 inch now this is the 15 inch uh looks pretty cool all right, so far we've unboxed two things. Well, no, we've unboxed uh, the mouse and the keyboard from Omen. That looked pretty cool. 25, 26 minutes into this live stream. All right. No issues at all, Aditya. So what are you saying? Um, no issues. They're talking about the XPS 17, from what I understand. Uh, one that. So you like that Firefly lichen. You like this Firefly. Pretty nice. Let me uh, see if I can get it in focus for the here. Uh, pretty nice looking display. I, I didn't turn it on yet, uh, but there it is. Matte. It looks like it's going to be a matte display. That looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. We'll, we'll get a look at all this in the full review coming up. I'll do both of them. I don't know if I'm going to do them together, the 14 and the 15 inch. Good hinge on this. 
Looks pretty cool. Uh, Omar saying nice performance, dated style, and beep uh, graphics performance. Uh, M1 is impressive, but it there are some issues. You know, there are going to be some issues. Of course, it's first gen. Uh, I can tell you what processor it is. Give me a second here. Um, let me get to the press material for it. I, I'm curious myself. Um, so uh, the Firefly is running, and let me do this real quick. I have the 14 and the 15 inch. Uh, they're calling it the world's smallest and lightest mobile workstation for those that are interested. Uh, I'm going to try to get to the thing here. Okay, just looking for the specs here. So this, um, the 14 inch is 2.96 pounds. The 15 inch, this one is 3.74 pounds. Uh, so that's uh, not too bad for a 15 inch laptop and a 14 inch laptop as well. A pretty thin design. Uh, they also have a pretty nice screen to body ratio as you see here. Uh, good port selection on this as we pointed out. Uh, the one I have here for the 14 is the Core i7-108. This is not this one. It's the other one I looked at the other day. One Core i7-108-10U, and it has the NVIDIA Quadro P520 with fee, uh, 4 gigabytes of video RAM. The 15-inch is running the same Intel Core i7-108-10U. Uh, that also has OS recovery built in. I guess, which is a pretty good feature for professionals. Uh, it also has the NVIDIA Quadro P520 with four gigabytes of video RAM. So the difference is going to be upgradability options and other slightly different options in terms of, uh, besides the size, of course. So that's uh, pr pretty good. Let me get some coffee here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I, I like it. It looks good. I like it. Um, I spoke to HP, Michael, and I don't think we're going to get it before the first week in December. So they're getting their order in, and I spoke to them. So hopefully we'll get that HP Spectre X360 14, which has that 13.5-inch display coming very soon. So we'll see. All right. So you like that laptop, huh? Okay, that's good. I'm going to have all my Black Friday stuff. It's really good. Uh, Aditya also likes the upgradable laptops. That's why I'm not into buying gaming laptops. I mean, that's why you are into gaming laptops. They are upgradable. Uh, I agree. I think, and again, I don't mean to go on a soapbox here and rant, <laughs> but the M1, again, credit to Apple where credit is due, but they're not telling you the whole story about the laptop dated bezels an okay display it's a good display a true tone display but it's not the be all end all i've seen better displays especially on the xps line and even maybe in the specter line with the oleds and so forth uh it's not the be all end all now the other thing they're not telling you is about upgradability you can't upgrade the ram you can't upgrade the ssd you cannot upgrade the wi-fi card which is something you can do on certain windows laptops as i've demonstrated before so that's that that's my stance on it so far i like the the macbook air don't get me wrong i think it's great but that's the thing the prices aren't too bad um they're not going to be the cheapest things in the world um let me see if they give us pricing here uh, I think they start a little bit over $1,000, but it depends on the SKU you go with. Um, so the, the, the one they sent me is much more expensive, obviously. Uh, they're, they're more expensive. The press configuration for the 15 is uh, almost $3,000, which is a lot of money, of course. Um, but you can it starts at around $1,779 for the 15. For the 14, starts at $1,649. So it's, a, it's, it's up there, but not outrageous. Certainly competes with Apple, that's for sure. Um, and that one comes in configured at $2,391. So the 14-inch, a little bit less, of course, than the 15-inch, which has a few more options that the 14-inch doesn't have. Of course, it has a bigger display. So that's uh, that. So that's uh, as far as pricing on those are concerned. 
Yeah, they're real workhorses, but there are more powerful ones, but these are more portable. This is the, the thing. It, and one of the reasons people want these kind of Z-Books is for security. They've got really nice baked-in security features in the BIOS and so forth. It, it goes under the hood. There are things that you just don't see on the surface with this that you may want to look at. All right. Why is the Spectre... Omar's, Omar is asking, why is the Spectre always more expensive than Envy? I think Envy looks way premium. Envy is their premium. It's a premium line. I think it's like Spectre would be one, and then the Envy is 1A. That's the way I look at it. Spectre is their real flagship consumer line. I think the Envy uh, is a premium, but it's like 1A. That's the way I look at it. I tickled my throat. All right. So the NVX360 hits the sweet spot. Yeah, it's good. And coming up is my laptop of the year awards. I'm going to be doing that. I'm working on that. Hopefully this week I'll be getting that out. Uh, we have Black Friday stuff coming up. So you want to make sure you're sub to the channel and everything and all that. So let's uh, see how many people are watching. Got 137 right now. All right. Uh, I think the ZBook 15 G6 is a more powerful device, to be honest with you. I think the, the Firefly hits a different, little bit of a different need. I think the Firefly is more for the portable uh, workstations. It's not, if you need real powerhouse stuff, there are better options in the ZBook line. I think this hits a more uh, portability aspect. It is powerful, don't get me wrong, just not going to hit the points like the, the ZBook Power and all that other laptops in that line so i don't know if you'd want to upgrade to this per, per se you know to this one per se but it is sweet i mean it's an all metal design it's very premium yes that is the picture of the flat iron building uh x1 nano i'm waiting on lenovo i haven't heard anything yet uh so we'll see which laptop to buy hp or dell that's not enough information fatah doesn't tell us much. <laughs> that's like, I mean, it's so general. We don't know. I don't know what your needs are. So that's not enough information. All right, let's move on to the next thing. So let's, uh, let's move this away. I don't even know what I have here. This is uh, also from HP. This is... Oh, this is the EliteBook X360 1040 G7. This is the one I wanted to look at. So this is a, a, a this is a convertible version of the EliteBook I reviewed today. That was the 845, which is of course Ryzen. This will have, I think, Intel in it. This is a premium business laptop. This will compete with the ThinkPad line. And again, I, I see what they're doing with this. Uh, biodegradable material here and again i will get all this into the full review so we're just going to start moving this along here so this is i think a 14 inch <coughs> all right so this is the 14 inch and beautiful metal design wow that's nice Oh, this is feeling really good. This is, says Elite Book on here. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Uh, really nice stuff. USB-A, HDMI, two Thunderbolt 3 ports from what I understand. Uh, it, this is another USB-A, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, optional LTE SIM tray, and that looks like a Kensington lock. I believe this charges on USB-C. Okay, so, well, that's beautiful. And again, this is convertible. And there you can see, you can put it into the different modes. This is the uh, knife. Uh, hold on. So this knife is uh, M-Tech. M-Tech Ballistic Knife. I have it in black and gold also. 
So for those wondering, I got it on Amazon. They're not that expensive. Um, really nice. Wow. This is very premium. Wow. Looks good. Have I already looked at the HP Spectre X360 14? No, I spoke to HP Gustav. They're sending it over. I don't, they don't expect it before the first or second week in December. So this is the HP and Elite Book. This is the HP Elite Book 1040 G7, a 14 inch, very, very premium business laptop. I think this is more premium than the 8 series, of course. Uh, really, really good stuff here. Wow. I'm, I'm super impressed with this uh, build quality on this. Looks fantastic. You like this unboxing, huh? I got more stuff here, people. <laughs> Let's see how many we can get through. Hit the like button uh, if you haven't already done so. That helps get this disseminated on YouTube. Uh, also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, why don't you do so? Uh, it, it Definitely, if it's something you like, uh, and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way, you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Okay. Let's keep going here. Uh, hi again. Next would be a house to Andrew by HP. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> that would be uh, nice. Uh, I don't have any news about the Slim 7 Pro uh, uh, from the Lenovo. I, I'm looking forward to getting that in. I'm anticipating getting it, um, but they haven't said anything yet. Yeah, this Omar, this is a beautiful, beautiful laptop here. Really, really nice. Um, here you can get a nice angle view of it. You can see the ports there. Uh, this is a more glo glossy display. Than the mat we saw on the um, on the uh, Z book, but this is uh, this is going to be a nice one. I, again, I have a lot more to do on this. This is a 14-inch laptop, so you can see the keyboard layout on this all lined up in a row. Some people like it, some people don't like that layout that they've been using. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Let me take a look at the display real quick. Let's see if we can power it on here. I can figure out where it is. There it is. Okay. Usually HP sends it already configured to go. I don't have to set it up. Hopefully not. It's protected by HP Shore Smart, as you see here. Let's uh, go to this. See if I can get it in focus here. It's so reflective that it might not focus. There it is. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is... Very premium stuff. It goes well with my knife here. <laughs> Very premium stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to open it up, Aditya. I'm going to open it up in my review. It is looking awesome. But for some reason, nobody cared for the 845 with the Ryzen that I did today. Um, I am looking forward to that Slim 7 with that 2K or 2.8K display, 16 to 10 aspect ratio. I haven't heard anything yet, uh, so I got to start setting this up. I'm not going to do that here. We're going to do a special video on this, So, but the display looks like it's going to be a pretty good one, uh, but we have more things to unbox here. It's a very classy looking. That's a very good way to put it here. Uh, very classy looking laptop, that's for sure. I mean, that, that is beautiful. It might not be upgradable. I don't know. It's a 14-inch. Uh, it might be soldered in. I, I would have to open it up. Yeah, the Slim with the Legion line is Slim 7 Legion, I believe. Uh, yeah, the display is going to be great. I'm not going to go through the setup on this because I'd have to go through all that. Uh, we have more things to look at today. Uh, I don't keep these laptops. These are not mine. Uh, the ones I buy with my own money, uh, I usually wind up selling. I'm going to be talking more about that uh, in a future video. Maybe the reason your review, your review at least on a Sunday morning, is not the best time to... You know, I look at the algorithm. It tells you the best time, according to YouTube. And maybe you're right. I, I, I It said it was supposed to be good. But again, I live stream on Sundays and I get a pretty good turnout. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe you're right, William. I have to look more into that. Maybe it's me. <laughs> Maybe nobody likes me. Nobody, <laughs> they don't like the videos. I don't know. 
I, I don't know, but I'm going to keep plugging along. And by the way, the studio is, I'm going to Ikea today. I got to get some more stuff here. So this is not even close to being ready. So, but I need to get this stuff out. So we're here we are, and we're going to deal with what we have. A couple of, I think one person just didn't like the new setup that I'm doing. Everybody else seemed to be very positive with it. So, but again, I'm not done with it by any stretch. So you prefer it during the week. All right, this is good to know. See, this all helps me, Rafe. Well, this is good to know. Was going to buy the ROG Zef, but this Elite Book looks really nice. It does look nice. Um, yeah, this looks pretty. Pretty looking laptop. Convertible, I don't know if they gave me a pen, but I'm sure there's pen support with this. Uh, usually these convertibles are uh, really, really nice. Just a really rock solid build. So sturdy. The metal design is fantastic. This has the core i7 10th gen with V Pro, according to that sticker there. To that sticker right there. Um, and it also has a pen which attaches magnetically. I don't know if you see that here. It attaches magnetically. I'll talk more about this in again in the full review. Hey, so you're you're local here, Joshua. Okay, greetings. Uh, we're not far from each other. It's a good setup, and it will and it will it will be nice, is what you're saying, <laughs> Ricardo. It won't be nice. It will not. Ni I believe it will be nice. Yeah. Just, again, everybody, thank you for their, your patience with this uh, while I'm doing that. You're doing a great job, uh, Andrew. It's good. To, is a good time on Sundays. Depends on the people and the countries, and it also depends on. The product, uh, and I'm not expecting the Elite Books a very specific business line product. It's not really a consumer product per se, although consumers should look at it. I think it has a lot of nice features that, that consumers would like, but it's not necessarily the most popular. It's not going to appeal like the M1 Apple laptop. But I was not the first on the Apple, and I did okay on it. Not even very good views. I got uh, my live stream on the unboxing of the. Um, of the M1 MacBook, MacBook Air, I think it got almost 10,000 views for a live stream. That's pretty good. And my video on my first impressions of it didn't do so great. I think it got a little over 7,000 views. So it didn't do what I was hoping it would do. And I'm going to have to reevaluate it. Uh, if I'm going to even do the, um, the Mac Mini I was planning on. So we'll see. Your videos are great. Maybe something is happening with YouTube's algorithm. Yeah, I'm probably... Uh, <laughs> I, I always go against the grain. Maybe I'm trying. I don't know. I, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. The videos that I think are going to do great tank, and the videos that I think have no chance do great. So you never know. It, they, they, do, they do play games with that algorithm. I'm really liking this. Wow. Really looks nice. We're, we're going to get a full review on this coming up. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> RF is saying, as Ice Cube would say, do your thing, man. F what they're looking F what they looking at. <laughs> yeah, F you're not kidding, man. You're not kidding. All right. How much is this? Good question. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be I, I would say it's gonna be as configured. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty expensive. But I don't know. We're gonna I I'll look it up when we get a chance. Yeah, I'm honest, and I give my own uh, opinion, and maybe I get punished for that. Uh, maybe they want to see these uh, plastic, um, uh, slick um, influencers, you know, that have no substance as far as the product. They're 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 basically an advertisement for the product. Uh, Nadine is saying everything is messed up on Instagram, which I know has nothing to do with YouTube. No, nah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's what it is, right? Lenovo Yoga 6. I, I'm waiting on Lenovo. Silver on silver, it could be a tough to read. Uh, this one has silver. No, this is black. This is black keys. Uh, this is, let me switch cameras. So this is going to light up pretty nice. So it's going to have a uh, white backlit, uh, as I'm looking at now. And then it'll have... Um, and then it'll have... The black keys lighting up, so it'll look good. It's not silver on silver, which is kind of hard to read sometimes. 
Perfect time for Europe. Good, man. I mean, it's hard to find the time to please everybody. It's hard to find the time to please everybody. So uh, Bogdan is saying we need to help you with that to press the bloody like button, share interesting staff stuff from HP always. I have thought that the NV15 Ryzen, but I regret a bit because it gets very hot and loud. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my God. Dry throat today. All right. Yeah, I can't wait. I Listen, Michael, I was going to go out to Best Buy and get it, uh, but $1,700, and I just spent on that MacBook uh, Air. Uh, maybe I'll return the MacBook Air and get that. Maybe I might do that. We'll see. And I'm happy with my MacBook Pro 16. I'm not going to upgrade to the, uh, no reason to. I just bought this a few months, like six, four or five months ago, and I'm very happy with it. So we'll see. And you like the way I do the reviews. You like the coming up. Okay. I'm still working some stuff out, man, but I appreciate that. Uh, super chats are open. Super stickers are open. Memberships are open. You want to help support the channel? That's one way to do it or a few ways to do it. Uh, so we'll see. All right. Yes, please. Uh, Sam is right. Smash that like button, people. We'll get this disseminated over YouTube. Right now, we have 158 of you watching. Let's move on to the next thing. But really, really nice, huh? I can't wait to to uh, review this. This is beautiful. This is one beautiful laptop. So let me. Let me uh, let me look for something different. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, some Lenovo stuff. Now, I'm not going to open this up, and the reason being is because I'm giving this stuff away. So uh, I might as well just show it to you guys now. All right, so this is uh, three things that I'm teaming up with Lenovo to give away. I'll have more instructions on that when I do my studio tour this week, uh, hopefully this week. I'm playing, planning on it. This is something you can definitely have a chance to win as a giveaway all the instructions, again, I will put on you on t Twitter and, and Instagram. Think Vision, um, this is the uh, pretty interesting flat panel monitor. It's a, It's got e-ink on it, it looks like. Uh, I've never used this before. This looks pretty interesting. This is the M14T. And I don't want to open it up because we're going to give it away. So... That looks pretty nice, actually. And it comes with a pen. That's pretty cool. Let me see how much that is. That's a pretty... Well, they're giving... Stuff. That's really nice of them. Let me see here. The Think Vision M14T. And that is... Uh, let's see, from Lenovo. It's a USB mobile monitor with touchscreen. That is $439 right now. This is a great giveaway, people. You're going to have to be subscribed to the channel. You're going to have to be subscribed to the channel. I'll have all the information. You have a chance to win this. Now, they also sent over a second thing I'm going to give away. This is the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet Chromebook. All right. And I have no idea how much that is. <laughs> I think I took a look at this during uh, CES. It's actually pretty nice. Lenovo... Uh, Duet Chromebook. And this one is, let's just get a price on this. This is $289 right now. And it's cool. It comes with a keyboard. It's a detachable. Pretty interesting. And again, you got a chance to win this. Yeah, I robbed <laughs> Lenovo. No, they sent it over. So a chance to win it. And the third uh, thing you can win during my um, giveaway is going to be a Lenovo uh, Think 
pad, TrackPoint Keyboard 2. I remember I showed this on other videos. It's a pretty nice keyboard. It's basically a ThinkPad keyboard with the nub and all that stuff. That's a Bluetooth keyboard. It's really pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm impressed, man. And again, you're going to have to be subscribed to the channel. I'll give all the details coming up this week. I'm going to be doing a special giveaway in, t in, in tandem with Lenovo. Thank you to Lenovo for sending this over. Uh, this looks really good. I'm pretty interested to see how this is going to work. This ThinkVision USB-C monitor, the, the, the Chromebook Duet, and of course the ThinkPad TrackPoint 2 keyboard. Uh, pretty, pretty good stuff. Yeah, I'm, I showed it in other videos. I have one here somewhere. When I moved, I don't know where I put it, but it does work well. I used it quite a bit. All right, let's move on. But again, I'll let you know the details coming up this week. Just give me a second. Talk amongst yourselves. And I have no idea what this is. This is, uh, this is from... Uh, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. This is the Pavilion 14. This is the updated version. I wanted to see this. I attended a press briefing this past week on this. So this is another one, a more Pavilion line from HP and their more uh, budget-oriented product. And this, again, I like the packaging, more biodegradable material. This is the... Pavilion 14. Now, I don't know if this, I don't think this is the X360. I think this is the clamshell, but we looked at the X360 earlier this year. Let me put this to the side. I got a mountain of boxes here. And not bad. Okay, so it's got the different logo. This is more budget oriented because we can tell by the logo, but it still looks nice. This is a metal deck. Uh, yeah. You're going to want to be subscribed. So this metal deck is looking pretty good. Wow, this is nice. And it's got the Iris Plus, no, the Iris XE graphics. Wow. Core i5, uh, Tiger Lake on this one. Good key travel. And welcome new member, Anderson Santana. And I will play this for you. Thank you, Anderson, for becoming a member. So that's pretty cool, man. I appreciate that. All right. I can't open this door. Uh, another HP. Nice. It looks good. Yeah, a lot of HP today. I got behind on the HPs. Uh, this is, I attended the press briefing on this. Again, Core i5, Tiger Lake, Intel XE graphics. I look forward to it. It's supposed to be a really nice display also. They really uh, improved their pavilion line. Let's take a quick look at this. <clears throat> look at that. Beautiful matte display. I love matte displays. Let me see if I can get the brightness up a little bit. There you go. Ooh, not bad. Now, I think they shrank the bezel a little bit. It's not as bad as I remember it on the other one. Uh, you'll see a little bit of bezels. Again, this is going to be a budget laptop. I think this comes in... Uh, in the 600 range, 650, 700, 699, maybe something like that. Uh, thank you for joining us, uh, Paul. We're doing a massive unboxing today. Uh, you'll catch the replay when you're done with whatever you missed, but I'm glad you're able to stop by. Uh, so this is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, nice display. I I'm impressed. Is it touch? No, it's not touch. And let's see how far the screen goes back. Let's see. No, it only goes back that far. But pretty nice. What do you think? Looking good, huh? So this is going to come up in my videos this week, probably. I'm going to do this one as well. Now, the bad news is I got to I gotta rebox these, so I, I can't have them lying around my new studio. <laughs> All this stuff. I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, let's take a look at the ports real quick. Uh, keyboard looks good, by the way. I'm liking that. All right, so let's take a look here. So this looks like it's a 3.5 mil headphone jack, uh, USB-A. Right side, power port, HDMI, USB-A, USB-C. I'm not sure if it does charge. We're going to test that in one moment. And then you get your uh, micro SD card reader. Let's see if it does power up. It's 
buried under all these boxes. <laughs> so I'm plugging this into the USB C port. Let's see if it does power. Oh, and it does. All right. So it does support this uh, USB C charging, it looks like. Yep. USB C charging. This play looks good. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Yeah, and it's a good price. Let me see what that's going for. HP Pavilion 2020. Pavilion uh, 2020, 14 inch. Let's see. So the X360 is, uh, we don't want the X360 because this is not the convertible. This is the, I think this is like six, 600, 600 and change maybe. I could find it here uh, pavilion newest laptop 10th gen you're looking at about 650 over on amazon uh yeah like what like what i thought so looking good with that 11th gen tiger lake all metal this this looks like a metal deck this is definitely metal it does charge with the USB-C if you do want it now as far as the uh the back of this um you know there we go i'm trying to get it in focus here anyway we can do it this with this camera uh feels like metal it's cold yeah i think this is an all metal design i'm pretty sure of it now but again i'll have to do my further investigation uh nice and then it has that uh different logo than what we see in something like the specter line or the envy line to signify this is a more budget oriented but it doesn't look or feel budget so uh no thunderbolt on this one again that not at this uh not at this mid-tier level not on this mid-tier level so uh so far it's a good live stream people let me see what we have here 160 of you watching nice little live stream here a massive unboxing metal build for the pavilion they're getting laptops their gaming laptops seem sound yeah i'm pretty happy with it um so far this looks pretty good and i think the display and you can not quite open it with one finger the display looks pretty good as you see here I i'm impressed all right but we'll have to see the numbers new member ain't Amy, Nidu, um, I don't want to butcher your name. Amy, welcome to the channel. We have our second member of the day. Cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. All right. So super chats are open, as I mentioned. Memberships obviously are open. We got two new members today, which I love to see. That definitely helps. Uh, Best Buy, you get it for four ninety nine. All right. Well, this is some deal. And if it has the Core i5, it has to be the Tiger Lake. Make sure that's the Tiger Lake. And Iris XE Graphics. Make sure it does have that because there might be other SKUs that don't have that. So you, may, you want to definitely have that. All right. Did I miss somebody else? Who is, oh, yes. Well, we have Amy. Did I miss somebody else? And Pedro Cisneros became a member. Let me see here. Pedro, great stuff, man. Thank you. New member, Pedro. Cool. Thank you, my friend. Three new members today. That That is fantastic. <laughs> I hope you, hope you find proper boxes for the inboxing. <laughs> yeah, I got to put this all back together. It's a disaster now. I have other stuff here. Let me see what I have. I don't even know. Let me see. Okay, here's something else. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a big trouble putting this all back. So this is some HP also. Oh, this is the HP Chromebook X360. I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but let's take a look at it. I've been meaning to open this for a while. I've had this for a month or two. I'm sure HP's hating me by now. All right, so let's see what this is all about. This is supposed to be like a more premium Chromebook. Oh, I like the gray on this. Wow. A lot of HP stuff today. If I could get this egg crate open. Oh, I see. The two side things. All right. 
what a pile of boxes we have here. All right. All right, let's see what this is all about. Wow. You know what? <laughs> this might be the nicest Chromebook I've ever seen. Wow, all metal, and it's got that premium HP logo. Wow. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, let's open it up. Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful. And I'm not going to go through the setup, but uh, not bad for a Chromebook. It's a bright display, I got to tell you. Does it, is it a 360? Yeah, it's so it's a convertible too. I'll tell you what, HP's hitting some home runs when it comes to these designs. Uh, this is pretty nice. And again, this is a more premium Chromebook. I have one from Dell also. I don't know if you guys want to see that. So what is the benefit of joining? I'm going to do a special live stream for you guys. I know I've been saying that, but I wanted to get enough members. I'm also going to do special giveaways as well. There are some incentives for joining as well as, of course, helping out the channel. You want to help support the channel because I have to go out of pocket for a lot of stuff sometimes, and that would certainly help in that department. Of course, not totally but it definitely anything helps so that's what it would be if you want to join not met this it's not uh not mandatory okay oh yeah so i'm looking at an old thing thank you william for saying that earlier on um hp chromebook x360 c1030 is the best this is the uh this is a core i3 on this one it's got a fingerprint scanner core i3 this is actually pretty nice let me see the exact model number So this is the 14C. So the X360 14C, uh, pretty nice. Why would I use a Chromebook? Uh, it's great in education. There, You could able to give it to students and so forth. This is a little bit more premium, of course, but there definitely are some benefits to that. I'm glad you like it, David, man. Thank you. Does it have a glass touchpad? Good question. You know what? It does. Let me see here. Hold on. Feels like glass, yeah. It's it's premium. It is beautiful, Aditya. If uh, the only thing is, if you don't like the Chrome OS, man, that would be the only thing. I I'd love to put Windows on this thing. Chrome OS has its Apple. It has this. You want to run Android apps? That's another reason to get uh, Chromebooks because they run them natively at this point. Uh, so that's been pretty good if you like to have those apps with you as well as having a full-size keyboard. It's a backlit keyboard, as you see here. Uh, it's actually beautiful. I love this gray. It's like a muted gray. Uh, really, really nice stuff. Core i3 on a Chromebook is more than capable for doing some good stuff on this. It's got Bang & Olufsen speakers. It's got two speaker grills here. How much is it? So let's take a look. HP Chromebook x360 14c and it seems like a popular search uh 14c anybody know the price here i think it's 629 if i'm not mistaken 14c here we go see all specs i don't know how much it is could somebody look it up uh i hate to do this on the live stream and slow things down so it doesn't really say here Amazon has, um, from these sellers, and I think this might be it, 479 Does that sound about right? Does that sound about right? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll put it in the end of the, the stream when we're done. I'll let you guys know. This is the 14C. Uh, not bad for a Chromebook. Man, we've covered a lot of ground today, huh? I think I have another Chromebook from Dell, which is also premium their business line we can take a look at it but uh let's take a break here for a second and let me get some coffee uh pretty interesting unboxing huh let me see if i could find that price for you the b is a different model 14c I don't know where this is. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Chromebook. 60. I, I don't know. Isn't that funny? It doesn't really show up here. Somebody knows? Let us know in the chat. Okay, let's move on. 
Uh, if they did, people would be doing it. <laughs> I'm not really sure if you can. Yeah, and HP does have very good prices for students, vets. They do have stuff on that. So that's pretty good, man. JF, that's great. I know a lot of people want to install Windows because they like this hardware. It is pretty nice. I got to say that. Uh, let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, looks like you have a volume. You have a uh, a shutter switch here. Looks like the shutter switch for the webcam is on the side. I like that. A volume rocker up and down. The power button and a USB C port that you can charge the device with. So that's the USB C right there. Oops. And then oh, the drop. This is really premium. This is a drop. The drop jaw USB A port. Pretty cool. Another USB C port a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. So according to Jeff, uh, 549 Pentium gold, 550, 599 with the core i3. That's the one I have here. Thank you, Jeff. So you can go with the Pentium gold, which I guess would be fine for Chrome OS. But as far as uh, the... I would go for the Core i3 if you can. It's a better processor, especially with Chrome OS. doesn't need too much with Chrome OS, but that's going to be fine. Now, according to a DTU, you can get it at $380 in Best Buy, but is that which processor is that? So we'll see. Yeah, if you want to join, uh, I think in iOS there's no join button, but you'd have to go to my channel. You can join there. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, thank you for t um, Handquake for pointing that out. Is this the 11th Gen Envy? No, it is not. It is the. This is the HP Chromebook X360. But go back in the video. We got a lot of stuff. We looked at Elite Books. We looked at a mini PC. We looked at a. a Really nice gaming ma ma a mouse, wireless mouse with low latency uh, from uh, from Omen. And we also looked at a really nice keyboard from Omen uh, for gaming and so forth. We also looked at a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, check it out in the replay. I'll keep it up for everybody. Yeah, thank you, uh, Nadine, for pointing that out. And let me know if I miss a super chat. Let me know if I miss a membership. Uh, that could possibly be. I don't know. Um, I'm one man band here today, people. So I uh, appreciate it. We have four cameras working, and we're looking at this one. Let's uh, let's see if there's another one we can look at real quick. I think it's going to be another Chromebook. Uh, let's see here. Let's hold on. Let me give you that blank space. <laughs> All right, we got something from Dell. All right, and I don't know what it is. I think this is the Chromebook here. This is already, let me open this up. Again, good good packaging that we're not getting that extra waste. This is another premium Chromebook, and this time from Dell. Dell's kicking, you know what? All right. Uh, this is uh, Latitude, I believe, right? Isn't this the Latitude? Let me give you the exact model number. This is, I have no idea what this is. Hold on. This is the Dell Latitude 7410 aluminum non-touch 4K display. All right. So this, I think, is a Chromebook. Maybe, maybe not. Or, yeah, it says Chrome. So this is a Chromebook. Uh, this is a 4K display. Pretty nice. Um build quality on this so this is a 4k display as i mentioned and let me turn up the brightness wow that's a bright display i may have to turn it down a little bit it'll get blown out um again we're seeing some premium chromebooks here i know it may not be the best for you guys uh but i wanted to get these unboxed but i tell you what it looks pretty pretty premium it's the dell enterprise chromebook you are correct and all metal design this is looking pretty good you know it's a premium chromebook uh some people don't want to be bogged down with windows or mac or whatever 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess businesses would like to have it. They wouldn't. I don't think they'd make these if they didn't have a a, a audience for them or a, a, a buyer for them. So pretty interesting stuff. And I got to tell you what, this keeper looks really good. And as far as ports are concerned, let's take a look. So it looks like an HDMI. Uh, two USB-C ports and a micro SD card reader on the left side. I'm telling you, this is looking good. And then two uh, USB-A ports, Kensington lock, and a headphone jack. Yep, headphone jack. Uh, pretty nice. Let me see. It doesn't, it goes all the way back, but it's not a convertible. It goes all the way back, flat as you see here. So pretty interesting. It's a bright 4K display on this. Is it touch? No, it's not touch. Yeah, it has a micro SD if you want to add some storage and so forth. Wow, we're at an hour and 12 minutes. I think we're, <laughs> I think we're coming towards the end. I'm a little bit tired from all these unboxings. Um, and then the other thing is a good point by Aditya. Uh, iPads are a nice alternative as a secondary option. Chromebooks, uh, again, they're great in schools. They're no fuss. Run Android. Run Linux on it. That's the other thing. You could run Linux on it. So that's another reason to get it. And that's another thing about the M1 MacBook Air. You can't uh, run um, Windows on it, at least not yet, without emulation. And they're not even supported yet. And you cannot connect an external GPU and, and so forth. So... Yeah, I like the displays. The Dale Dell is making some really nice displays. Oh, what a day. <laughs> uh, looking good with this as well. So I think we're getting towards the end here. Whew. This is a lot of work for this massive tech unboxing. 135 of you watching. Let's see how the stream is doing. Um Looking, looking like it's a pretty good turnout today. All right, uh, people, I think we're going to start wrapping it up here. Uh, it's been a great day. Hey, Mallory, don't worry. Catch the, you could catch the live stream. It's all right. Don't worry. Uh, do you think the HP Envy for $9.99 is a good buy? It is. We're going to talk more about my laptop of the year. It's a great, uh, it's a great build quality, my friend. Great build quality. Thank you, Nadine. Thanks, everybody. It was fun. I think we're going to sign off here. And uh, don't worry, I got a lot of stuff on the way. A lot of this has to be reviewed, and uh, I'll have that mini PC from One Mini or whatever they're called. Uh, looks pretty interesting. We got Black Friday coming up, and don't forget, I'm going to have that special announcement of the giveaway with Lenovo. If you saw some of the stuff, looks good. Check it out in the replay. Anyway, till next time, everybody, so long. See ya.